supposed to be a moment What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? One man, one show! One you army, nigga! <laughs> I'm a go! God, nigga! What? Really, nigga? What's good, bitch ass nigga? So look, bro. We made history like not last night, bro. Save your swan. All in the comment section. Nigga, I saved NBA 2K19. Baluba has had the greatest conversation he's ever had with the influencer, quote unquote, head ass, in his fucking, in, in fucking like four years, nigga. On God. On God. Like, easily. Um, If you don't believe me, you can watch the full thing in full length. Um, on my Twitch, Lord Baby Hawk, 48 minutes. I'm about to sum up everything. Look, listen to this full video, bro. Seriously, there's gonna be so much information, and um, it's truly game changing. Everyone's build is gonna change. It's extremely game changing, extremely. And there's a lot of you know promising features that y'all might like and all, all types of shit, bro. So um, make sure you subscribe if you know. I appreciate the love. Make sure y'all like this fucking video so young nigga getting recommended. Share this with all your friends so they won't make no trash ass builds and all that shit, bro. So look, first, okay, I'm gonna come on your light. Then I'm gonna get into the game changer shit. So from 85 overall to 93 overall, it's going to be noticeably faster than the previous two Ks to get to it, to rep up to it, okay? It's gonna be noticeably faster so so what does this mean for all the ball control builds and shit you're gonna hit your ball control a lot earlier so that's promising that that that's cool now also here's another thing that is extremely important okay so y'all know with certain builds you're not able to um you don't know when you're gonna unlock speed boosting right so and this year, there's even more builds that are going to be able to unlock 86 ball control. Here's what he said. He said he doesn't know the exact overall for certain builds and all this shit. But he said it's most likely. Basically, he said it's similar to 2K18. So if you're making like a shot creating slasher, whatever overall that was, that's what you should assume. It's not confirmed. That's what you should assume will happen in 19, okay? Until he releases otherwise. I really talked to him about the overall system, how we should be, since we can't pick our caps, I was telling him, like I went into depth. On this video, I'm just gonna skim over shit. I was going into depth about how we should be able to see when we unlock certain things, certain things so we can know if we want to pick the build or not because let's be honest everybody not hitting fucking 99 nigga you know everyone say they is and all that but you know we're, so many builds we wouldn't use or try to grind if we knew what overall we unlock certain things if we can't pick what we want we should at least be able to know when we unlock this is the only game in gaming history where you don't know you know it's a, it's a huge ass fucking scam it's it's fucking cancer no other game is like that okay now here's another game changer okay bro so me and steezo been knew about this right we been knew about this we just didn't say shit no one else knew about this in the whole game right so when you dribble with steph curry right you can momentum all the way to one fourth stamina when you dribble with kevin durant you can mo only momentum to one to half of your stamina we were thinking that the higher your ball control, the more it lets you momentum and do speed boost moves um, until you start doing all that extra shit and all that. And then also, we noticed that Kevin Durant, after two bad plays, he can no longer momentum. So we figured that if you start, if you just get blocked twice or something, or you get blocked, or something it'll knock you out of 86 ball control and that's exactly what it is that's the game changing thing that everyone needs to spread to everyone before people make their builds he even said that i might release these screenshots on twitter so y'all follow me on twitter swan baby 
He even said that if you have 86 ball control, that if something bad happens, you'll get knocked out frequently. Knocked out of 86. So if your shit is capped out, you just ran it like, cause you know, locks is going to be OP. They just randomly come up, get a steal. You just knocked out a fucking being able to momentum. Like what? Like nigga, that's a game changer. Like that is a fucking game on God. Okay. Even someone like me who rarely makes mistakes. The majority of y'all watching this, y'all probably make mistakes like way more than me. But when y'all watch me play on live on stream, I rarely make mistakes and I get hot fast. You know, I'm very consistent and shooting a hundred percent. I rarely make mistakes. So someone like me, but y'all niggas aren't like me, could risk doing 86, but you know, for everyone else, it's looking like you might have to make 90 ball control. And I don't know how much, like once you play bad, I don't know the, the subtract. I don't know if it's three or five. Um, I don't think he said that in my stream. Lamasa said it's three. He said he said that, but I don't remember him saying that shit. So if it's five, if you have 90, that shit's gonna knock you out of speed boosting. But if you have over 90, you're still gonna stay over. I'm thinking it's probably minus three. I'm not sure. So y'all need to start spamming Mike Wangs with these questions, nigga. I'm changing my whole build. I'm, I'm making sure I get 90 ball control on my shot maker. Um, you plur, you pure playmakers, you could be much bigger. Now look, this, I was worried about the T-Rex shit, right? I even talked to him about the T-Rex shit, bro. Now, if you guys didn't know, if you look at the wingspan in past 2Ks, your minimum wingspan is, or your maximum wingspan in like 2K17 or some shit in past 2Ks is the maximum from past 2Ks is the minimum now, right? That's fucking crazy when you think about it. Cause they did say the wingspan is much like it's much bigger than it's ever been you know like the the numbers you can pick from so what this and i like i started talking to him because i was like man i'm very experienced with uh these midget arm my player because i've played on a lot of people's account i've never made that shit for my builds but i've used it and i've seen the flaws like um it was harder for me to get chase downs that i would normally get it was harder for me to get rebounds that i would normally get on my bigger player but I would still like always get it, you know? It was harder for me to avoid getting blocked or layuped compared to my other player. And um, it was just like other shit like that. He said that the only thing that it will, it will fuck with is your on ball steal and blocks. That's it. I asked him, I was like, so I'll be able to intercept passes he said, yeah, you should see no, no real difference. And that that's huge. And then I asked him about, because you know, when you go T-Rex arms, it says your um, shot contest goes like hella down, right? I was like, so if I do that, are niggas gonna spray in my face? He was like, no. He said, if you get a good contest with even T-Rex arms, you he will miss. That's what he said in the fucking stream, nigga, on God. Oh Moses, you you feel me? So also y'all timestamp this video because this is very helpful and shit. Help niggas out. Um. Also, I brought up to him uh that fucking uh XX shit that niggas do on the twos and think they're the coldest niggas ever. I explained to him exactly how they do it and why and how it needs to be out the game. And it completely ruins the skill gap and how it's still in the NBA 2K19. Even though you think it's patched, he said they're going to look into it and shit. And, and um, also, fucking, um, so when it comes to the whole rep system with my career and, uh, <clears throat> And also, you guys have to understand, he was being very responsive and um, he was agreeing and saying that he would relate messages to the fucking other devs and shit for whatever they were responsible for. Um, so I brought up uh, how 
the rep needs to mostly be it shouldn't be my career taking over the fucking game again you know i was saying that should be one fourth of the rep in fucking park you feel me i said park and pro-am not walk on park and pro-am should be the fucking um where you get the most rep and those two should be even and then i said y'all should just like act like oh it's balanced all around and all that other shit but it really not be i was like because look listen to this and here's my reasoning i was like so you want people to play bots all day you know i was like i, I was explaining it to him like this man and it would i was like this will make your game way more lit you guys made a huge mistake in making it my career no one sh no top rep streamed my career and was pulling views you know no one was streaming so i was like it's it's pretty obvious what you guys should do man I was like, yo, you should make Park and Pro-Am, not Walk-On, the where you get the most rep. And I was like, Walk-On, no. And here's why, because you play bots. You just drop 100 with like some niggas on your team and half the people aren't gonna even be bots and then everyone else is gonna quit. So it should be one fourth of the rep you get in Park and Pro-Am, where you actually play people. You know, real people, even though they might be ass, you play real people and then you stream that. It's like, for instance, if I stream my career, no one going to watch that shit compared to me streaming Park or Pro-Am. If I stream Walk On, no one's going to watch that shit. So I really broke this down to him in a way no one else has ever talked about that shit. I talked about taking the record out of stage and um, I gave him amazing reasons why. You can go watch the stream for that shit. What else, what else did I tell him? Oh, so I told him about glass cleaners. If you guys didn't know, pure glass cleaners have a 77 steel. I said, that's not real, it's not realistic, it shouldn't be in there. He basically said that Zach or whatever wanted um, people to use them more and I was like, eh, it still doesn't go with the build, you know? It should be out the game. I, y'all remember my lockdown video? I basically repeated that in the fucking stream. And then, you know, he was saying that he's never seen a lockdown. Well, I don't even know how he's going to see that unless they have like private beta tests and shit. But he said that if he also said if anything is OP, it will be nerfed, if anything. So I was bitching about the lockdowns and shit. I was like, they got to go. You know, I was like, they, they, this, you know, just basically my lockdown rant. You can go watch the video. I repeated that shit, you know. And it, you know, it, I'm pretty sure it made a lot of sense to him in a way he's never fucking heard. And um, like I explained, like just everything. Just watch my lockdown video and you'll ever you'll understand. So I also talked to him about pure sharpshooters being the only guards with bronze defensive stopper. And like why I was like, why aren't other guard builds that are more athletic and play better defense? Why don't they have bronze defensive stopper? Why is it only the pure sharpshooter? That doesn't make sense. I talked about the shot creators having all these super OP badges. I, I, I talked about hella shit, bro. I talked about, here was like probably the biggest thing that he's probably never heard. I was like, so dribble, guard, dribble gods aren't good at the game. You know, 1% of dribble gods are actually good. In my eyes, there's only like a two or three, nigga that can actually dribble, that are actually good at the game. I was breaking down to him, I was like, yo, these guys, they don't even have over an 80 win percent. They don't have over, um, uh, most of them all have 70, 60 win percents. Like they're trash, bro. Like they look good in their highlight tapes, but they're not good. When they play actual comp, they get destroyed. I told him every year, the best people in the game are niggas that do one, two, move, three, or uh, like, they're just shooters and then it's the big centers those are the guys that are in the stage dogging niggas it's not dribble god when you look at pro-am one two move that's how it's always been it's not these dribble gods so i'm like yo you're ruining your game because the entertainment of, of your game comes from dribbling that i was telling him how people blew up from like 10k all the way to 500k and i was trying to stress to him how important it needs to be and i was like yo if ankle breaker is not as strong like 
I was bringing up to him why 2K16 was so balanced. The stamina was high, the ankle breaker was low, and it had the best defense in the game. So if you make 2K19 like that eventually, or it's like that now, it'll be lit. But if you nerf ankle breaker, and there's little stamina, and then there's amazing defense, it's gonna fuck shit up, you know? But if you nerf ankle breaker, you give us hella stamina, you good. The speed and everything look good, you know, like, you know, I was really breaking shit down to him. Also, he said he's gonna let the devs know about releasing probably a cap breaker. Um, he said there's no promises. He said uh, play sharps and pure playmakers aren't gonna be like getting dunks like that. More layups than anything except on breakaways. Shot maker's gonna be able to dunk. But yeah, man, that's basically the video, bro. There's a lot more shit that I went in depth about. That's why I recommend going to go watch the Twitch and you can see it. it's entertaining and everything. So it's not gonna be like a boring watch, I think. I don't fucking know. <laughs> but um, I appreciate all the love and support. Make sure y'all subscribe if you know. Like the motherfucking video. Watch my own past videos. I got hella 2K19 videos. Make sure y'all follow um me on everything. Follow me on IG, Snap. Uh, uh, uh. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this and if this changes what build you're making in NBA 2K19. It's definitely changing mine. Um, I'm eventually gonna release my builds, bro. But yeah, bro. Um, I'm I'm letting y'all know right now. I'm definitely shooting for a 90 ball control. And um, yeah, bro. I read all my motherfucking comments. I leave a heart. So y'all leave a fucking comment, bro. And um, <laughs> I'm out this bitch, bro. Make sure y'all wash your fucking face and brush your teeth multiple times a day. And um, have a good night.